Hey everybody, Hello. it's Hypernux333 here with first Let's Play all ever at with Super Mario 64. Dear Mario, please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. Don't think we need to know that Princess Toadstool's name is Peach, but you know. Some people might not know that. If you've never played a Mario game before, which I somehow doubt, you would not know that Princess Toadstool is the original name for Princess Peach. And this guy right here with the little camera, that is a Lakitu. And coming out of the warp pipe is, guess who? Mario. Main character of the game. Ciao! You've reached Princess Toadstool's castle via a warp pipe. Using the controller as a piece of cake. Press A to jump and B to attack. Well, that's normal. Press B to read signs, too. Use the control stick in the center of the controller to move Mario around. Now, head for the castle. Now, this is Super Mario 64 for the Nintendo 64, but I am playing it using a GameCube controller on, well, Dolphin. Because I don't have anything to hook up to my Wii to record from. Princess Toadstool's castle is just ahead. Press A to jump, Z to crouch, and B to punch. Reassign or grab something. B, press B again to throw something you're holding. And best way of moving, in my opinion, is long jumping. But Lakitu, being Lakitu, is going to interrupt us. Good afternoon, the Lakitu bros here, reporting live from just outside Princess's castle. Mario has just arrived on the scene and will be filming the action live as he enters the castle and pursues the missing power stars. A as seasoned cameraman will be shooting from the recommended angle, but you can change the cam angle by pressing the C buttons or use the C stick. In my case, if you cannot adjust the view any further, will buzz. To take a look at surroundings, press C up. Press A and resume to resume play. Switch camera modes with the R button. Signs along the way will review these instructions. For now, reporting live, this has been the Lakitu Bros. No, I'm not going to read every sign. I will just explain things as we go. I've played the TS version, but never actually beat the original. Welcome, no one's home. Now scram, and don't come back. Go ah ha ha. Yes, I have 100%ed the <coughs> DS remake of this game, which is good. Am I glad to see you? The princess and I and, well, everybody, we're all trapped inside the castle walls. Bowser has stolen the castle stars and he's using their power to create his own world in the paintings and walls. Please recover the power stars as you find them. You can use their power to open doors that Bowser has sealed. There are four rooms in the first floor, starting the one inside the... with the painting of a bomb inside. It's the only room that Bowser has not sealed. When you collect eight power stars, you'll be able to open the door with the big star. The princess must be inside. Yeah, well, we got a lot to do before we can open that. And this is the first level of Super Mario 64. The bomb battlefield. Wow, you smack dab in the middle of the battlefield. You'll sound that power star Bowser stole inside the little painting's world. First talk to the bob bomb buddy. Press B to talk. He'll certainly help you out. And so will his comrades in other areas. To read signs, stop and face them. And press B. Press A or B to scroll ahead. You can talk to some other characters by facing them and pressing B. What does the bomb buddy want? Watch out, if you're one right here, your lab will get plastered by a water bomb. If I don't, his enemy bob bombs love to fight and they're always finding ways to attack. The meadow has become a battlefield ever since the big Bob-omb got his paws on the power star. Can you recover the star for us? Cross the bridge and go left up the path to find the big Bob-omb. Please come back to see me after you retrieve the power star. What he's telling us is basically go right up to there. That is where the, the king bob is. And, and we are going to do just that. We cannot use the cannons yet. Here is a chain chomp. Don't touch him. <laughs> he hurts quite a bit. And 
throughout this let's play I will be showing off, you know, little tricks like this one. Oh, whoops. My finger slipped on the control stick. <laughs> where you can where you can skip quite a bit of things. Uh, this is actually really helpful in the next star, which is the race with Koopa the Quick. I mean, yeah, there, I can do both faster, it's just... Are you kidding me? Okay, whatever. I'll go the other way, because I don't want to waste more time. <laughs> Gives me more time to talk about this. As I stated, this is my first ever Let's Play. Not my first ever video, but my first video sucks, because you cannot really hear me, you can only see my gameplay. I actually got this idea from uh, the, my roommate, who I live with, while we were playing Super Mario Galaxy. And this here is King Baboon. So what you have to do is wait for him, and then you run around behind him, and pick him up, and you throw him. And what I like to do is backflip behind him, and grab him, and throw him. The DS remake of this game is quite a lot better for the controls, but I wanted to give the original an actual shot. Like, I know what I'm talking about, and I'm pretty sure that the DS remake would be a little hard to do a recording for. What? Can it be that a pipsqueak like you has defused the bob -omb King? Well, he can't really defuse you since you don't have a fuse. You might be fast enough to ground me, but you'll have to pick up the pace if you want to take King Bowser by the tail. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Methinks my troops could learn a lesson from you. Here's your star, as I promised, Mario. If you want to see me again, select the star from the menu. For now, farewell. Yeah, he's telling you you can repeat stars. Which, yes, you can. And certain ones of them, you kind of have to. Well, yeah. No. You don't really have to repeat stars, per se. You just can skip. You can, unlike Galaxy and Galaxy 2, well, actually, Galaxy 2, you can. You can skip around stars. Like, I could do the 100 coin star, which, yes, there's 100 coins in every level, which you must get for a star. Or you can, like, I could go to that chain chomp I saw, right? And I could. Pound, ground pound his thing three times and unlock that star. And every time you see a bob buddy in later levels, you should talk to him because they will unlock cannons, which are useful for the next couple stars. But you can't use them against the race with Koop the Quick. Because that's considered cheating. This here is Koop the Quick, and he wants to race you to the top of the place where King bob was. And hopefully I don't mess up that trick I tried to show in the last level. I chain jump. There you go. And just run past everything. And long... Oh, no. Okay, well, I'm not going to waste time. Since I just missed it. But, Coop the Quick will go that way, but you don't have to. You really don't need to. I can walk around this entire thing probably twice in the time it takes for him to get to the top. See, he's not even down there yet. And if you take this little thing, which I failed to mention last time, is a warp point that takes you to the top. And you go here. Yeah, there are hidden warp points scattered throughout most of the levels, and I know where most of them are, but, and I will be trying to showcase them all. Uh, yeah, and I hope you guys enjoy this Let's Play with me, you know, it'll be pretty interesting and maybe 
tiny bit stressful, I'm not sure. I hope I can keep you guys entertained. At least long enough for you to watch. By at least giving information on what I know. And how to do certain things, like... I don't know. <laughs> and hopefully these parts don't drag on long enough. I'm gonna try and keep them... Relatively... Uh... Short parts, but... Like, maybe 15-20 minutes. Also, this is... The star... The shoot... The, uh, what is it called? Shoot to the island in the sky. This star is actually removed in the DS remake because it's really easy. And hopefully I can actually land the cannon. I was actually practicing earlier today. Nope, I overshot it. Good thing I can just use the cannon over here to make it. Yes, I'm not a pro at this game, so I will make some mistakes, and I hope you guys will bear with me. I'm not a whiz at video editing, so I won't probably edit them out, as in I don't even have a program to edit them out. I'm just using OBS right now. But this game is a game where I can basically use whatever. I don't need to edit out many things. And that is as simple as that for that star. You've recovered three power stars. Now you can open any door with a three on its star. You can come and go from the open courses as you please. Enemies ahead are even meaner, so be careful. This playthrough will actually be is uh, a 100% playthrough. All 120 stars. Oh, and here's the prime example of what I'm doing for the 100 coin star. I am going to be... <clears throat> doing the 100 coin star with the red coins. Because red coins in this game, unlike in every other Mario game afterwards, uh, red coins count for uh, 2. Blue coins count for 5. And normals, the normal yellow ones are 1. But as I made a mistake earlier today. And I accidentally got the 100 coins I needed up here in the sky, so I had to shoot myself out of the cannon earlier. Let's see if I can actually land on the tree this time, please. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> And since I know I can get relatively close, I'm just going to go. Alright, there we go. That's a good, I think, number. And red coin, three and four. And a little trick you guys might not know. Is... Normally, to get the coins out of these little logs, you would ground pound them all the way. Wait, what? Oh, never mind. Apparently, you can't get coins from ground pounding them. Okay, that just ruined five coins. <laughs> never mind, I did not know that. Maybe that's only in the DS remake that you get coins from ground pounding them. Whatever. No big mistake. Alright, and what I'm going to do is, there's a little gate over, okay, run away, he's going to explode because I didn't grab him fast enough, oh okay, thank you. Yeah. And actually, right here is, well, a one-off. Uh, that I just missed. Right here is a warp point, like I was saying. Come 
want that coin. Thank you. In, in the DS remake of this game, they actually increased the amount of coins you could grab from the levels. Like, uh, particularly Rainbow Ride is one of the hardest levels in the original to uh, get all of the 100 coins in. Understandable. But, hopefully I don't have to do it over and over. And if I do, well... I don't know. <laughs> I'll probably get a program that I can use to edit edit out things. I don't know. I don't know what is a good program to do that with. How many red coins do I have? Five. So. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, the camera in this game is not as good as in the DS remake. That is a fact. <laughs> Can I do this without getting hit? Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Finally, have two more coins to go. Which... I would like to save my the final. I like to save the final two coins of the hundred coin star to be. A red coin so I can just get both stars at once because the hundred coin star actually spawns exactly where you pick up the last coin which can spawn in a really annoying place this part's dragging on quite a bit but hopefully not too long But, for my first part, I guess it's okay. Alright, there's five. That'll be 91. Then plus two is 93. So I just need seven more coins. To, and then I can finish off without... Damn, I went the wrong way. Seven coins, seven plus six is ninety-three. Will be ninety-three, sorry. Uh, seven plus six is not ninety-three. <laughs> and because I am bad at aiming, I have to use this one. Okay, 93. Let's do this. Oh no, wait. That was a dumb mistake. <laughs> I have to re-climb back up this mountain. Hey guys. As you can see... Oh, I, never mind, I got it. Wait, no. I don't know. Yeah, I missed it. <laughs> Alright. And to use that trick instead of... There. Now we got the 100 coin star. And yes, of course I missed it. And that is the five or er, eight red coins of the bomb battlefield. All right, and this has been the first part of my Let's Play Mar Su 
Super Mario 64. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. And feel free to comment on anything you see that you can give suggestions on. All suggestions are welcome. Bye.